Nigeria's Victor Simon, Jude Bellingham of England, Harry Kane also of England, and of course Lionel Messi, the best player of the world from Argentina, are just four of the world-class players who could be on the move in what looks set to be a huge transfer window this summer. Will Messi return to Barcelona? Is Declan Rice, the England boy, bound for Arsenal? The transfer window for clubs in the Premier League next season opens on Wednesday 14th of June and closes on Friday the 1st of September. So uh, let's run through the rumours and gorge on some gossips as we take a look at the big names who might be set to make a switch this summer. We start with, of course, uh, Jude Bellingham, Borussia Dortmund's youngest captain at 19 and uh, deemed exceptional by Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp. Bellingham is one of football's hottest properties this summer and on Monday was named the Bundesliga player of the season. Real Madrid are in advance talks to sign, uh, to sign the England midfielder and are willing to pay about £89 million pounds although Dortmund are understood to want £130 million. Manchester City are also believed to be interested in the teenager who played 42 times for, for his club this season, scoring 14 goals and registering 7 assists. But it is at the moment Real Madrid who are leading the chase for Jude Bellingham. Um, Harry Kane, the England uh, striker, yes, Harry Kane, we will see you in June. Uh, the Manchester United fans serenaded the Tottenham talisman uh, during their 2-2 draw in London in April. Uh, United, like Chelsea, Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain, are being repeatedly linked with the 29-year-old. Spurs and Kane have a decision to make. Uh, England's record goal scorer has one year left on his contract and if he does not extend his deal, he could leave for free at the end of next season and that is uh, something that Tottenham may not be willing to do so but at the moment Manchester United are uh, hotly in pursuit and are favored to land uh, Harry Kane. Declan Rice uh, could become the first, world, uh, the first West Ham captain to win a European trophy uh, since England's Bobby Moore uh, lifted the cup, winner's cup in 1965. Before their Europa League final second leg uh, win at AS Alkmaar, West Ham manager David Moyes said there was a good chance Rice will leave this summer. Rice is uh, being hotly pursued by Arsenal and the 24-year-old, of course, has rejected all offers uh, that have been made uh, for him to extend his contract by uh, West Ham. Yes, there are reports Rice is leaning towards a move uh, to Arsenal, of course, uh, but the Gunners may have to double the 72 million pounds uh, uh, they paid for Nicolas Pepe when he was their record signing in 2019. In April, Moy said Rice would be sold for, uh, will not be sold for less than 150 million pounds, believing his star midfielder is worth north of that figure. And that brings us to Lionel Messi, the World Cup winner will leave Paris Saint-Germain when his contract expires this summer. His relationship with PSG has soured. On the 3rd of May, he was suspended by the club for two weeks after traveling to Saudi Arabia without their permission. Messi left Barcelona in 2021 because of financial issues at the club, but he moved back to the No Camp where the Argentine is the all-time top scorer with 672 goals in 778 games may not be an, uh, may not be an option. But Barcelona have a wage bill of about 530 million pounds which uh, they need to reduce by at least 177 million pounds. The 35-year-old has also attracted interest from Inter Miami in the Major League Soccer, MLS, and an eye-watering offer of about £350 million to play in Saudi Arabia for one year with Al-Hilal. And so finally, it brings us to 
Victor Osimen. Yes, the Nigerian striker has become the envy of Europe's top clubs with his blockbuster performances for Napoli. Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid are just some of the teams linked with the striker recently, making Osimen a regular in uh, the transfer talk of a lot of news outlets. The 22-year-old idolized Chelsea striker Didier Drogba growing up and in 2016 rejected Arsenal when he signed his first professional contract with Bundesliga side Wolfsburg. Italian football expert James Honcastle said on BBC Radio 5 Live's uh, Football Daily podcast that Osimen could cost more than £90 million and probably closer to £130 million. The striker made headlines in March when he said, I'm working so hard to make sure that I achieve my dream of playing in the Premier League someday. And so, uh, Who's going to go for Osimen? Who's going to get to Osimen? Uh, time will tell. Uh, of course, there are other players who are hotly uh, being mentioned in the transfer rumors. Uh, Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal are set to battle it out for Mason Mount's signature with the England midfielder refusing to uh, sign a new contract with Chelsea. Mount's deal runs out at the end of the season and the Blues have reportedly put a £70 million pr uh, price tag on the 24-year-old. Brighton supporters, of course, face a nervy summer after, man after manager Roberto De Zerbi said stars Moises Caicedo and Alex uh, McAllister deserve to play in another level. Brighton rejected a bid from Arsenal in January, a bid of about £70 million for the Ecuador midfielder Caicedo in January. While World Cup winning uh, Argentine midfielder McAllister has been heavily linked with Liverpool. Meanwhile, Jim Madison is likely to move following Leicester City's relegation, with Newcastle and Tottenham rumored to be interested in the 26 year old England midfielder. And superstar Kylian Mbappe is uh, being monitored by Europe's top clubs with a 24 year old's contract expiring at the end of next season, while PSG teammate Neymar who joined from Barcelona for £200 million in 2017, is being linked with Manchester United. But uh, uh, Mbappe has said that his future belongs, uh, at least at the moment, uh, to Paris Saint-Germain, that he's happy with Paris Saint-Germain. But the other players uh, that we've just uh, mentioned, they're hotly in pursuit, and it will be interesting to see uh, what the transfer market uh, holds for, uh, for these players. And Nelson Daffer for News Express Nigeria Television Sports.